What's up guys welcome back to yet another review video. In this video we'll review latest build of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 9 series which is version C.44. So recently OnePlus rolled out the latest build of Oxygen OS 12 and this update almost every users are receiving who are running Oxygen OS 11. So let's quickly do a review on the same and let you know guys what bugs are present on this build whether it is stable to be used as daily driver or not so that you guys can decide whether to update your device or not. Also if you are facing the same issues then do let me know in the comment section below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS. Let me show you the about section. So as you can see here, Android version is Android 12. If you go inside the version section, here you can see build number says C.44 which is the latest one right now. And before starting the video guys, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video because testing software thoroughly takes a lot of time and efforts. And we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel, so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. As always, we created a poll asking you guys about what all bugs you have been facing if you guys have already updated to latest build of oxygen os or what all bugs you have already been facing on the previous build of oxygen os we got around 1k votes and 70 plus comments so i've gone through almost all the comments so first let's talk about two things of which i have been getting hundreds of messages guys and one of them is related to the processor of the device so few users have complained that processor of their device have been changed so basically they meant to say that they are seeing 855 octa core processor instead of 888 on their oneplus 9 series so guys that's a minor glitch that was present on the previous builds also but you guys don't have to worry about it software updates doesn't change your hardware specification so that's not a major deal if your processor got changed after updating the device and the second one is related to the oneplus talk dialer so guys as we all know oneplus introduced google dialer starting from oneplus 8t for almost every oneplus device so here on my oneplus phone also you can see we have google dialer pre-installed i have been already testing few oneplus talk dialer and as you can see i have one working here this is not fully functional but still i'll be doing a dedicated video on the same explaining you what all things are working with this oneplus talk dialer so stay tuned for that and also guys remember if you're facing too many issues on oneplus 9 series running the latest build of oxygen os it's highly recommended to perform a factory reset though few users won't believe this but yes Many users performed a factory reset and their device is performing pretty well compared to directly using the device without wipe. And my recommendation will be factory reset your device using recovery. And that can be done first power off your device and after that boot your device into recovery. To do that you can use the volume key combination along with power key to boot into fast boot mode. Long press the volume keys both up and down together along with the power key. Once the device boots into fast boot mode, navigate to recovery mode and press the power key to make selection and after that from here select the language select wipe data just enter this code given here and you will be good to go but make sure take a backup of your device wiping from recovery will wipe the user data partition and you'll lose everything from your device so make sure to take a backup of the device before proceeding talking about another issue present on oxygen os 12 is related to the notification so here if you are making any call and if you get any notifications from any messaging app you get to hear the sound if your device is in ringing mode so let me show you an example so let's dial 198 and if i send a message from here you'll hear the notification sound of that message as you can see here and this was not the case on oxygen os 11 so from here also let's do a call this device is oneplus 9rt which is running oxygen os 11 so i'll send a message from here and as you can see we did not hear any notification sound on oxygen os 11 so this is another bug which is present on oxygen os 12 this only happens if your device is in ringing mode so on oxygen os 12 we don't have any option to hide this pattern while unlocking the device and the same thing goes on oxygen os 11 which is running on oneplus 9 rt if you go to the biometric section here we have the option of pattern we don't get any option to hide the pattern while unlocking the device because oneplus 9 rt is running oxygen os 11.3 which is kind of mixture and the initial stage of merge between color os and oxygen os let me show you settings on all these three phones this is my oneplus 7 pro which is running oxygen os 11 so here you can see we don't have any option to make changes but on oneplus 7 pro we have an option to disable pattern which says make pattern visible and if you disable this feature and now if you try to unlock your device as you can see here pattern is not visible on the lock screen 
and most users have been asking for this feature since a long time. Guys, there are lots of things which are missing on Oxygen OS 12 if you compare to Oxygen OS 11. We'll do a detailed video on that very soon in which I'll explain you what all features have been missing on Oxygen OS 12 compared to Oxygen OS 11. Pocket mode is also missing on Oxygen OS 12. Though I guess it's still present on OnePlus 8 series but OnePlus 7 series was removed long back. So I've been running Oxygen OS 12 version C.44 on my OnePlus 9 and I'm using this device as my primary phone. Initially things were pretty much fine and later I lost the access to OnePlus shelf. As you can see here, if I try to open up OnePlus shelf, that doesn't pop up. I tried multiple ways to fix it like resetting the launcher, clearing caches, but nothing happened. So shelf is entirely missing on my OnePlus 9 and I've been seeing lot many users asking about scout feature. So guys, scout feature is not present inside the app drawer. Instead of that, scout feature can be found in the OnePlus shelf. Inside OnePlus shelf, you'll have an option of search. Soon you tap on that search bar, you'll get the pop-up of scout feature. But for me, shelf is completely gone. After that, another issue is related to live caption. So let me show you. We'll open up live caption. And if you go to the live caption section, here we get the option to allow necessary permissions. If I tap on allow permissions, here I don't get the option of live caption. I'm not exactly sure whether it's a glitch because I personally never use live caption feature on my device. So if it's a glitch, then do let me know. Or if there is any other settings which you guys are aware and I'm not aware about it, that also let me know in the comment section below. And OnePlus has still not fixed the status bar issue, mean to say the app icon in the status bar. If you closely take a look towards the left hand side, I have an icon of Telegram and towards the right hand side, I have an icon of Gmail. But in between, I also have a notification from Instagram and that is completely in white color. So that's the reason it is not visible. Most of the times icons appears in the grayish color. Few times we get to see the colorful icon in the status bar. And soon after this, I moved to the home screen and the icon was visible. So I think this has to be taken care by OnePlus as soon as possible. Okay, let me show you another bug. So this was the video recording which I did of my OnePlus 9. So if you take a look at this video recording, I was making a call and the green symbol which should appear on the right top corner was appearing at the bottom. You can take a look at this and on the top side the icon was not to be seen. After I restarted my device it got fixed. There was another issue which was related to GameSpace application so I had to uninstall the application. As you can see here, I don't have GameSpace application right now on my device. And the reason behind removing GameSpace application, let me show you the screenshot. This was the reason. After even closing the game, the app was running in the background. I tried everything, resetting the data of app, clearing caches, everything. But this thing did not go. So I had to uninstall the GameSpace application. And this is not with me. Most users are facing this issue and reinstalling the APK fix that issue. So if you guys are facing the same issue, you can contact me on Telegram or you can also follow our OnePlus app update Telegram group where I keep updating all the latest applications. I mean to say stock applications from OnePlus. I also saw a few comments that always on display isn't working on their devices along with Horizon Light. So guys, there is no issue at all with the always on display. On my device, always on display works pretty much fine along with the Horizon Light. So let me send a message and show you guys and there you can see Horizon Light works on my OnePlus 9 running latest build of Oxygen OS 12. OnePlus also removed haptic feedback from brightness slider and even from volume slider. Now let's also cover the camera stuff. Basically, I wasn't planning to cover camera segment because soon after I installed this latest build, I personally did not notice any improvements in the camera. But still, I thought let's try if any improvements have been done or not. Also, I saw a few comments from users that they are not able to use ultra wide lens while recording videos. I personally did not notice any kind of issues related to recording videos and using ultra wide lens. Though once you start recording videos, you won't get the icons to switch between ultra wide lens or 2x zoom. Instead of that, you'll get the option of drag. So soon you drag the slider towards the left hand side, you'll get to see ultra wide return. So that means your device is properly using the ultra wide lens and other lenses while recording videos. So this is not an issue at all on Oxygen OS 12. Basically camera is still not that good what it was on Oxygen OS 11. Night mode kind of doesn't work at all. Here are side by side pictures clicked in low light with normal and nightscape mode. I personally did not see any kind of improvements other than bit of noise reduction. And starburst mode also doesn't do what it is actually meant for. 
we get the same pictures in night mode and starburst mode. So I'm personally not still happy with the camera segment on my OnePlus 9 after updating to Oxygen OS 12. You guys let me know your thoughts about the camera segment. Are you guys happy with the camera performance or not? And now let's talk about the battery backup which I have been getting. So here are few graphs of battery cycle which I have been getting after updating to latest build of Oxygen OS. With first cycle I got 4 hours and 43 minutes of screen on time with my normal usage. Day 2 I got 3 hours and 58 minutes of screen on time with little bit of gaming and guys all the screen on time or the battery backup is with always on display turned on overnight battery drain on day one i noticed three percent of battery drain in approx five hours and on day two i did notice around four percent of battery drain in seven hours so if i had to compare the battery backup with the previous builds on this latest build i did notice battery backup isn't that great on previous builds i used to get around five five and a half hours of screen on time even if i do gaming but here bit less battery backup to be seen on this latest build and now at last let's talk about the performance or you can say gaming thing so basically i play battlegrounds mobile india by default we don't get the support of 90 fps but i managed to enable 90 fps on my oneplus 9 and soon you guys gonna see a video on how to enable 90 fps on any of your supported oneplus devices overall performance wise with 60 fps device does a great job when it comes to performance part oxygen os 12 is too good and if you play heavy games then you can anytime enable high performance mode on oxygen os 12 to get better performance but obviously that will drain a lot of battery as said most of the time i play battlegrounds mobile india and i've played many games after updating the device to latest build though on 90 fps without high performance mode device struggles a bit and that i feel it's normal on android phones with 60 fps device constantly delivers between 52 to 60 fps with no issues on my oneplus 9 Though there is no doubt, performance on Oxygen OS 12 have been really great compared to Oxygen OS 11. So guys, this was a quick review on the latest build of Oxygen OS which is C.44. I hope I have covered almost everything. If I have missed out any issues which you guys have been facing and I am not facing, then do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.